Let's have a look at the camera settings which I've used to record that video sequence. The camera that I'm using as you know already is the GoPro Hero 8 Black and the resolution on it was set to 4K 60 frames. 4K to get the best image quality and 60 frames to allow great slow motion. The lens on it was set to linear and the Hypersmooth 2.0 was set to on since the GoPro allows that type of Hypersmooth at that frame rate and that resolution. All the other options in that section like low light, zoom and clips you want to turn it off or leave it uh, since they are not applicable or set by default. If you've got GoPro Hero 9 or GoPro Hero 10 all the other options additional stuff you've got that you want to turn off so you want to ease off the camera and its processing power so turn other options off in the pro tunes we want to set bitrate to high and my shutter speed for that particular movie was set to double the frame rate so if i was shooting at 60 frames per second the shutter speed was 1 over 120 and we are doubling that uh, shutter speed in regards to frame rate to get the most natural motion blur. Next setting is the EVA compensation and as you can see it's not applicable so we cannot change that. And my white balance was set to 4500 kelvins. In terms of the ISO minimum, I set it to 100. The ISO maximum was set to 200. Sharpness was set to medium and the color was set to flat because I knew I'm going to color grade it after in post-production. Now in terms of the raw audio and wind, I set the raw audio to low and wind was set to auto but that doesn't really matter because I wasn't sourcing that audio track from the GoPro. Those are all the settings and I'm just gonna add here if I wanted to add super slow motion I would have to change my resolution and frames per second which would be 2.7k at 120 frames. Once you change that on GoPro Hero 8 Black your lens would be locked to wide so that would change. Hypersmooth will stay on, on and also few Pro Tune settings would have to change. So for that natural motion blur we have to again double the shutter speed in terms of our frame rate. So depending on our frames per second that we are shooting at. So 120 times 2 would be 240. So then our shutter speed will go to 1 over 240. Now if you increase your frame rates and you are gonna lock your shutter speed that will darken the image so I would then change my ISO potentially from that's ISO max from 200 to 400 or I could leave it at max 200 and then just basically in post-production increase the brightness too much 
the images from 60 frames 4K to 120 frames in 2.7K. I need to add here that also I've been using the variable ND filter on my GoPro for this particular project and that is the ND22 ND1000. Now the type of filter I've been using is not the one which is designated to kind of fit directly onto your lens. I had to use the adapter for my GoPro and then attach as a normal 52mm in my case filter. And very important thing which you need to remember when you lock in your shutter speed on the GoPro and when you're shooting in a low light and especially when you're adding on top of that a ND filter or circular polarizer filter which will darken the image also is that your hyper smooth stabilization will be affected because in order for that digital stabilization on the GoPro to work perfectly fine GoPro needs a lot of light and if there isn't substantial amount of light your footage will start to struggle will become shaky so then what you could do if you want to use an ND filter you could turn off your hyper smooth and add a gimbal to your basically gear so sit the GoPro on an additional gimbal with the hyper smooth off or if you want to keep that hyper smooth on and still use ND filter uh, you want to film in um, limited amount of lighting conditions like in my case that was the late afternoon on a gray day you want to be extra smooth with your motion with your movements of the camera to get that best image and the best quality that's been said this is my gopro tip series i am lasom studios as always remember be inspired be creative and be active i'll see you soon on to the next one Thank you.